question uh, 2.26. It says for a circuit in the uh, figure has being presented, I naught is 3A and calculate IX and the total power absorbed by the entire circuit. Okay. So first we'll have to try to find like things we can work with, right? So we know that these uh, four, these four uh, resistors are parallel, right? So we can calculate the uh, total resistance or the uh, equivalent uh, resistance. Right, um, which gives us let's see, one over eight plus one over four plus one over two plus one over sixteen. Right, oops. Okay, there we go. And in the end, it should gives you let's see, this is eight, this is uh, four, this is two, so fifteen over sixteen. Right. Oh, oops, sorry, the other way around. 16 over 15 that gives us the uh, equivalent right this is e not r equivalent resistance right this thing okay and next thing is we realize that i times uh according to ohm's law right i times uh ohms gives you volts so we have i naught and then it's going through the uh, 16 which is uh 16 Resist, resist uh, ohms, it's 3 times this, which gives you uh, 48, right, gives you 48, okay, and then from now, you're like, oh, what do I do next, so, it, it is important to know that the, uh, one of the little feature is that voltage uh, in a parallel, uh, right, in a parallel circuit, all the vault, uh, volts across uh, all of these are the same, right? Are the same as long as they are parallel. But like this one, this is not, right? But these four are. Why is that? Because we developed a parallel uh, circuit is for, you know, we can still do a lot of things. So like, for example, let me give, just give you an example. Uh, Christmas trees, right? A Christmas tree, you have all those uh, lights, the blue, red, the yellow, whatnot, right? Before, uh, we only have Siri, right? All the light bulbs are on a Siri, right? So if one of them breaks down, what well, everything else is gonna break, right? And then it's gonna take you forever to find that one, right? Because usually there's like thousands of those little lights in a, in a, in a combo. So we developed a circuit, right? A parallel circuit. Right, so all these lights are able to shine at the same voltage. Some of them have higher resistance, some of them have lower resistance, yet all the volts are the same. And uh, in that case, uh, if one breaks down, then the other three will still continue to function. Right. So okay, now we know we know why uh, all the volts are the same. So, or at least we knew that. We know that by now so this is uh, what we say 48 right full to 48 volts so this is also 48 volts right this one over here okay and we can simplify this right as then this is 16 over 15 and uh, this is uh, 10 ohms uh, ohms right okay and then we say, well, okay, this is uh, 48 volts. Well, wait, hold on. We can we do this? And let me show you uh, actually the way that I did it. It's kind of long, but uh, that's what I did on the homeworks and everything. So, so if we say, okay, this is 48, then this uh, is, must be 48 as well, right? And 48 for this one, it would just be 48 over two. Right, so you have a current of what, uh, 24i, right? So this is uh, 3i. Uh, this is uh, what, 24i, which makes this uh, 27i, right? Because of uh, Khrushchev's law, current law, right? Um, the amount of entering uh, must be equal to 
the amount of leaving or it doesn't have to be the same or uh, the same but you know what I mean okay so now this is 27 fantastic and what is this this is 4 ohms right 4 ohms divided by 4 gives you what gives you 12 uh, 12 I right so we know that okay this is 12 I and these two add them together gives you 29 I right it's going in this direction and then this one over here this is 8 8 ohm uh, so that would be 6 so 6 I is going this way and so all these so ix is uh, equals to 45 45 i right 45 uh, ampere fantastic now we found out what uh, i of x is it's t uh, 45 amps right and now we have to calculate the total power absorbed by the entire circuit okay so what is power power is v times i right because v is joules per coulomb and i is coulombs per second cancels out gives you joules per second which is uh power right which is watts or or btu or what do you call it a bunch of other stuff okay the english british units and whatnot is ridiculous anyway so 45 and we know all the other currents as well right here right so great now we're just add everything up and uh, so we have 45 let's just do one at a time 45 times 10 ohms what does that gives you it gives you volts right and then you volts you have to times the current again to gives you the energy right so usually we just written uh, which is why we have this uh, rule uh, I squared times R right that gives you volts I mean sorry that gives you power or a volt square over R. this is not velocity this is volts right and then it uh, gives you power as well okay so this is gonna give you a number but we're just gonna like write everything simplified right so times 10 volt and plus let's see what is here 6 uh, times 18 ohms right and then for here that's 27 uh, wait hold on that's not 27 that's 2 is it two? Give me a sec. You have, let's see, uh, 48 volts divided by four. It gives you 12. That's right. 12 times plus 27 gives you 39. Great. So this would be 12 squared times uh, four ohms plus uh, 24 square times two ohms, right? And then plus uh, 16 excuse me uh, 16 ohms with uh, 48 volts right wait what am I doing this is completely wrong it's uh, six and then we have to use the current oh my gosh I'm tripping four and then yeah okay so 24 this is all correct still and then this is three right and not the crazy number 48 so three times uh, well we can just use three times 48 right they would just give us that or you can say uh, three square times 48 at uh, times 16 which is three times 48 right okay so yeah tw this is 24 and you plug everything into your calculator all right that's going to take me a while you can skip it to the end uh, if you're just trying to check the answers but let me just type everything into the calculator um let's see in the end uh you should get well i have my homeworks here which is well might as well just use it okay it gives you 22,410 joules per second right which is uh, 22.41 uh, kilowatts right kilowatts okay so this is you know a little little different than the regular questions we've been doing uh, uh, it tests you on the uh, the knowledge of all voltage across a uh, a parallel circuit they have all the voltage all, uh, voltage equals to each other uh, and then you test about the uh, Khrushchev uh, current law and um, and then it talks about power right V times I so yeah I mean 
you can easily go into what I did over here, right? Just like simplified everything, and it just like it will gets pretty ridiculous. Right? It'll get pretty ridiculous. Um, but on the other hand, you can also use the uh, current division law, right? The proportions. So in like you know that A equals these two, right? And then this the resistance uh, on each of those determines like how how big of a percent that this and this takes uh, takes of, on the separation and then you add them together gives you the original ampere right so let's say the 16 and and a 2 right so 16 over 18 that is what that is uh, divided by 2 which is 8 over 9 right and then this is divided so this is 1 uh, well Wait, no, this is just 2 over 18, uh, 1 over 9, right? 1 over 9 uh, percentage. So if 8 over 9 is, um, is what, is 3 uh, ampere, right? So what is this for this part? I remember we have to do like a cross because the more the current, the less the resistance should be, right? Because current is about the amount of coulombs that pass through a point at a, at a single second or per second. So you have the higher res the higher the resistance, the lower the circuit. So if it's one over nine uh, divided by three A, I mean, sorry, three divided by one over nine, which is times nine, uh, I just give you 27, right? It gives you 27, which is the total, which is what we found out over here, right? 27. And then we use 27 to times 8 over 9 uh, gives you what? 24, right? Which is what we found out over here. You can do it this way as well. Definitely 100%, um, which does not require you to, I guess, know the uh, all the voltage are the same, uh, the same across from each other. Um, because then you don't need the voltage. You can just use the current times current squared times the resistance. Yeah, that's another way of doing it. Um, but yeah, whichever the way uh, fits you, there are, you know, what is the old saying that there's many roads least roam, right? As long as you as long as you know that your path leads you to your final destination, uh, then you know use it. So yeah, hopefully these uh, you're able to remember or learn one of the uh, methods that I've uh, presented. So yeah, hopefully uh, this was helpful. Good luck on your studies for the exams, and I'll see you in my future videos. Bye.